Well, this is the start of the birth vlog. We are on our way to the OB um, because I'm getting induced. So if you wanna know why, I explain it in um, the vlog before this, in the beginning. Um, but I'm getting induced and they're gonna do it with the Foley bulb. It's like a catheter with a little water balloon at the end that like manually opens up your cervix. The plan from what they told us is that I get it put in and then I go home for a few hours and then the hospital lets me know when um, I'm supposed to go in. So I don't really know how that process is gonna look. I don't know if like I start having contractions or start laboring or if it like takes a while to start, I don't know. Yeah, that's about it for now and then I will let you know um, when I get back in the car with the Foley bulb working and let you know how it goes. So I'm back home, I just put my PJs on. The actual insertion of the Foley bulb thing was fine. I like barely felt it. What hurt so dang bad was when he was checking my cervix to see if I was dilated, but he kept saying something like the baby's head was like making it difficult to see how dilated I was. So he was kind of digging around for a long time and pretty deep and that was extremely painful. Yeah, so he just said call the hospital at nine and then they're gonna tell me when to come in. And so it's currently 4.40 and we're just gonna try to nap. And that's basically it. Right now I feel like I just kinda have like a period cramp. I'm a little like uncomfortable and feel a little bit nauseous but I think it was because he was like digging around so much. For those of you that like know what period cramps feel like, sometimes you get so nauseous because you like feel it in your gut. And that's kind of how I feel. I think contractions started pretty dang soon after I got it in. Why are you laughing? Because I look like this. I'm having waves of extreme pain, so I'm assuming those are contractions. I have a little app that I'm like timing them in the duration, but I don't know. I feel like it's like in between contractions, it's like constant just pain. And then I have like a really extreme pain and then, and then it's just pain. So I don't really know like what's going on. But I'm not supposed to call for another three hours. It says that if I'm dilated enough, the fully bulb will fall out. It doesn't like fully release pain. It's like I still, it's still painful. So Molly right now is walking around because the movement is helping with pain. She also has a snack of watermelon. So I think she's been grabbing a piece of watermelon and taking a lap and then grabbing another piece and taking another lap. I really want to sit down because I'm tired. But every time I sit down, it hurts. I found that this position is very helpful for my pain. How long have I been in this position for? I feel like... 15 minutes. It hasn't really? been that long, no. Oh, I feel like it's been way longer. <laughs> oh. Well, so I feel okay, so we turned on our church service that's going on. Did we already say that we called the hospital? I don't think so. Okay, well, before when I was in like excruciating pain laying down, we called the hospital because we weren't sure if we were supposed to go in. Cause I didn't know if it was normal and I guess they, they just said it's normal and um, to just labor like I mean they're like most people want to labor at home which yeah I'd, I'd be more comfortable here. Well he said because I was the one who talked to him okay. that if she feels like she needs to come in to have some pain help he can call and we can come in he said but if she wants to stay in labor at home we're more than welcome to do that that what she's experiencing is not abnormal and that a lot of women prefer to labor at home for as long as they can so they can move around and they're not like detained to the hospital bed. Okay. We can check in later. Keep watching church. <laughs> well, here's an update. I don't really want to show you, but my Foley bulb came out. You have to show it. I, I don't think I can show yeah. that. This is what it looks like. <laughs> it came out. 
I'm feeling so much better. Like, <laughs> once I was like in that position on the bed and then I kind of just like laid on my side. And I haven't been in any, I feel like it's been like an hour. It was like uncomfortable to get up, but I went to the bathroom and then when I was done going to the bathroom, that's when I noticed it came out. We're thinking maybe like, the pain that I was feeling was just kind of like my butt because because it fell out that means I'm three centimeters dilated So we're thinking maybe the pain I was feeling was just like that kind of doing its job and pushing me to three And then I don't know so I mean I don't really know why I'm why I have been feeling the way I have but right now I feel good and so I'm kind of soaking it in that I feel good keep you updated okay we're at the hospital now it's almost midnight we're pooped but I got my blood drawn because I have to get my platelets counted. Pretty sure that's what they're looking for. And then we'll see what happens, but definitely not in labor. <laughs> I think I'm getting Pitocin soon. <sighs> and then it goes crazy from here. It's 9 a.m. the next morning. I'm five centimeters dilated. They just broke my water and I'm having horrific contractions. So I just asked for an epidural because they're just gonna get worse from here and I can't. I don't want to do it. I'm not saying I, I mean, maybe I could, but I don't want to. Five minutes, 30 minutes. Yeah. So worth it. I'm so glad I did that. I don't feel anything. I didn't feel a, a cervix check. I haven't felt any contractions. She's about to come in and like rotate me and stuff on my side. That's what this whole induction thing has been about. Whether or not, honestly, if I made the decision to just go naturally and like not have the option to get an epidural. I would have been so mad at myself. <laughs> yeah, so worth it. I don't even know if I would even try with any other baby to go without an epidural because of how painful it is. Push it for come on. Kind of way, hold that. Oh, yeah. 
cute little girl. She was crying in my arms and she's so calm in dad. So she was born on May 6th at, I don't even know what time, 1.35. And then we're gonna go over to the, whatever, the other labor. The yeah, the postpartum area in like 15 minutes. Do we share her name here? Her name will be public before, by the time we. Her name is Maisie, Maisie Jude, Maisie Jude Bridgem.